Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. How are you? In the last episode, I showed you the new forms in Microsoft List. Let's show you a short overview. So I go to the App Launcher and go to a Microsoft List homepage. I'll go into a list that I created and now we have this form uh, menu. Currently you see I have three different forms. I can create a new one and uh, I can see the columns that exist and I can add new uh, columns. Uh, once I'm done, I can also decide if to show or hide some of the columns. I can set the theme. I can customize it how I want. And in addition, I could also set a, a confirmation message. Then I can actually uh, copy the link and then whoever opens it within the same tenant can open the form and fill it out. He will not see the data which is stored. He will re be referred to some page. Um, so now I want to show you how it looks also in SharePoint. Till now we were in Microsoft uh, list. So if I click on this uh, arrow, it will actually refer me back to the list where to the site where the list is stored. Here we see the same list and we also see here the form button. As you can see, we have we can create new forms, we can edit and we can also stop accepting uh, response. So this is how it looks in SharePoint. And uh, the next thing that I want to show you is how it looks in Microsoft Teams. So we are under the team that is called US Sales. And if I open the tab, I choose the list as a tab and save it. And now actually I can uh, create a new list or use our existing one. Let's just use this one. And uh, what we can do is to add a new list. And we will see also here that we have this form and we can add uh, columns. We can have multiple forms. Each one has a different uh, uh, number of uh, values or columns. And uh, as you see, it works the same way in Microsoft homepage, in SharePoint, and now in Forms. So this is what I wanted to show you, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you like my channel, subscribe, and see you. Bye-bye.